where is the chat? You have a sign? How are we doing tonight? You can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me and or the music or the game is the question. That is the question. What are we going to do tonight? Yes, and music. Thank you, Raz. That's one hell of a delay. Um, who knows how I turn the delay down? <laughs> it's a crazy delay. All right, let's let's get some. The game isn't very loud. There's nothing really going on. There we go. Thanks, Jolly. Thanks, Raz. Um, what did I sign up to do? <laughs> I don't even know. All right, so here we are. We're over in Old Stream Farm, and we have a single field that we own that we have harvested. Let's look at our fields just for kind of get back where we were. We had to actually start a whole new game, so. In the meantime, while we're off stream and we switched over from Twitch to YouTube, I had uh, Old Stream Farm came out with an update and I had to restart everything. Luckily, I hadn't done much. I had only uh, purchased these three fields and then harvested this field. I was able to go back and harvest again offline. And now we're back to where we were almost. A few really minor changes, but essentially the same. Uh, we figured out our money a little bit better. We got a slightly different tractor. I actually spent some money. So we own this tractor instead of the previous McCormick, which was leased. We actually own this kind of old school Fent tractor. I kind of like the old school Fent look. Um, and we have a slightly different harvester. It's almost the same, but um, I realized I wanted a harvester of tracks, so I made one with tracks. That's about it. <laughs> Today we're not doing anything very exciting. We are going to be... We have a couple contracts that we signed up for, and we're going to go do those contracts. We have a couple harvesting contracts, and we have a couple baling contracts. Our We're going to leave our speed at something low-ish and see if we can get all those done today. So let's get going. Um, the harvesting contracts, let's look, are 44 and 50. Now, I don't even know on the map where that is because... I haven't gone much past this little piece of land. But let's go find them. Where's the 44 and 50? <laughs> Pressing the wrong buttons here. 44? 42. 48. 44 looks like this little snake of a piece. And 50 looks like this little field here. They're both going to be harvested with our harvester. So let's... Head on over there. Uh, and then we got a couple grassland contracts in that same area. And so we'll see how that is. I'm really, really loving this map. I'm loving, well, I'm loving all the details, but I'm having to get used to the details. Um, some of the details are a little, things are a bit tight. A lot of crap on the ground, which I don't usually like, but it is what it is. I want to play it for the way it is. Kind of made a little, I don't know, agreement with myself that I'm not going to terraform everything like I normally do. I have a little bit of a bad habit of just, if anything, I don't like it. I just terraform it out of control and then go from there. Um, 
But I kind of want to play the map as it is and not terraform everything. I'm going to also have to learn how to drive a little bit slower because the twisty turns are going uh, left. Twisty turns on this map are going to be a little bit fun. How's everyone doing today? Has anyone else in here played this map? And if so, how are you liking it so far? Uh, I am super liking that the Black Sheep modding crew is pretty um, pretty quick with updates. Uh, people pointed out a couple things with the sheep pet, with the cow pastures and some objects and floating trees and whatnot, and they fixed it all within a week. Um, and that includes going through giant testing. So. I like to hear when map authors are responsive and working with the community to make the map the best it can be. That always makes me happy. One thing I like about this map is that it's not just flat, boring nothingness, honestly. It's... I actually want something up there, put across. Um, it's a little bit more terrain, like if you look at this this field right here, right? Yeah, it's a grass field, but it's not perfectly straight. It's got some, you know, not perfectly straight lines. Some of it's straight lines, but some of it's kind of twisty and turny and the wide range of trees around. I get the 44, put on this little dirt road. Go in cab. Maybe that'll be easier with all these... What are those, willow trees? Alright, so our field that we're going to be harvesting is off to the left. Park this car, head back. Not there, not there, and get this. And... Do I want to go the same way? No. I don't think there's another way to go. Alright. Alright, alright, well... Hurry back! <laughs> As I run into a wall. Now with all the tight roads and whatnot, I may turn traffic off. Oh, oh, you know what I should do? I should turn traffic off, so I should do. Uh, you know what I should do? I do remember our friend Rosnak, who just left. He did a video on the collectibles in this map. And there is a collectible right here. And it's the only one I remember. I can not get stuck in these bushes. There it is. Our first collectible. One. Collectible. Nine more black sheep to be found. Yay! Ooh, $80,000. That's a lot. That's actually going to help us a lot. Because we need... So we're doing some contracts because we need some money. We spent all the money we came over with buying a bunch of land, a bunch of equipment. We own this equipment. We're not leasing it, which is great. I'm happy to do that. But we need some more equipment, namely the simple stuff that we need to either bail. We need to get a baler, that's for sure. We're going to bail that straw up because we're going to need it for the animals. The plan here is to plan here is to get all the animals over time. We're going to start with chickens and cows and maybe go into sheep and maybe even pigs. I don't know. I've never done pigs. I don't think I've ever really done sheep. I did it once. It was when I got that little teeny tiny pen. But the farm here is all set up for it, so that kind of makes me excited. Okay. If only there was a road that went straight through here to the top of 
the road on 39. Like, that seems like something that should exist. I almost want to go through the forest with the harvester, but that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> I would, too. <laughs> Alright, then over to here. And not enough space to cut up 39. There's a road up ahead. Between 40 and 41. That's where we're going to go. That's where we're going to go. Now, the one thing is definitely different than any of the other base game maps with this map is there's no, like, barely any field of borders. So, like, there's no, like, extra space around the fields for moving, driving, parking machinery, all that stuff. It just doesn't exist. So we're going to have to be extra careful as we move around because we just don't have the extra space. I'm going to get this header off. Uh, let's put it here, maybe? On the edge of this field? Start unfolding. La -di da -di da This is tight quarters. I'm trying not to like destroy any crops, but I do have crop destruction on. Oh, there we go. I am destroying crops already. But that's where we're going to play it. We're going to play it with the crop destruction on. We're going to play it with we can break stuff. We did slightly, because of these tight quarters, we did um, get a little bit of extra turning radius on these wheels. And here we go. Now, because this dips under the trees so much, I'm going to have to go in cab. This. That. It, like, right up against that tree. I'm not driving a very straight line at all. I wonder if we can be able to get around that field once. That's my fill. Nice and quiet inside this cab. Oh, tree. See what I mean? Like, the edge of that field is, like, super close. And to a tree. Like, not just to grass. Just like a hard tree that you run into. That's that's a little bit out of the norm for me. That said, it feels very accurate for the map and what we're playing. That's cool. Oh look, this, has, this end of the field has a little bit of room to turn around. That's good. Or not. Far. <laughs> Oh, I'm good. The straw swath was on. I completely forgot about that. Now let's go to outside view. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do, like, multiple headlands on all of these fields. On this map. because of the tight borders. There we go. Cruising along. I'm just the guessing where the edge of the, the field is because I can't see it. Welcome back, Raz. Your, your internet issues get solved. Is Minecraft eating up too much bandwidth? <laughs> I 
Really? What am I hitting? That tree's in the way. Not my property, so I can't cut it down. Or else I'd cut it down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not driving very well. I'm really bad at this, like, tight quarter stuff. And I think this header is a little bit faster than it should be, so it's having a hard time reacting. Oh, nice. Working on a video. New uh, collectibles video, I hope. I'm going to have to go back and watch your uh, collectibles video for this one again, just so I can find everything. This field like is one of those I think this and most of the fields in this game are gonna be almost not requiring GPS at all. Because they're so small. Like I'll do two headland passes on this field and I'll be done. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Episode six. I should get you to do a farm tour of, of my farm before I cut down all the trees. It's gonna be barren in a in a, in a little bit. <laughs> no, I have to. Oh, I actually, this is single player, right? <laughs> I wonder if I have the um, collect straw from missions mod added. If so, I should get that baler sooner than later. That's for sure. Yeah, look at this. Harvesting this field, almost done. We've got it all in one harvester load, and then we'll unload and then go to the next field. A really small contract, it's only like two grand, so. And get a little bit extra out of this field with a source of bales. I will be happy. I think if I moved up here or I started buying these fields, which I may do, I'd probably combine a bunch of these together. Like 45 and 44 together and 43 and 42 together. Create a big grass field and a great big arable crops field. I've done a lot of these really small trees. Maybe someday. We'll see how this series goes. I mean, I don't even know how... How well we're gonna do for money? I don't know. We do have the contracts up, and the contracts are gonna be paying a little bit better than normal. So hopefully that'll get us through. I was almost thinking since uh No Man's Land is starting to get kind of full up. If we get any more people coming through who want to join, maybe doing a um, another like very similar to No Man's where everyone kind of does their own thing and builds out, but do it in Comlands. See which one goes over better. Same rules. It'd be fun. I don't know if I would go over, but a place for all the new people to go. It's been so long since I played single player, I've been playing multiplayer so much that I forgot how much fun single player is. <laughs> I'm 
Look at that. Almost done. Never even turned on GPS. Not making it so much easy for myself. Do this. Open up. Let's unload. That was a quick little 15 minute contract. Ooh, by March. It's almost, it's already the middle of February. I've got eight days left. I don't even think I'm going to be able to get to officially the Yukon by March. I've got some money to make. Where does this need to be? You know what? I can't deliver it until... Let's do this. It's be a little bit tricky. Um, let's unhook. Let's... Go rent a baler. Look at a big baler. Let's go fast bail. Build the fast bail on here. Don't. Uh, that's here. Get a. Um, what are we doing? Color we want to go with. John Deere, JCB, Challenger. Why is New Holland not in this? Gray. Certain gray. Please. Oops. Check for that mod. Uh, how do we check? I don't know how to check. How to check? Um, something to buy. I think I. I think I have them on. Lovely edge of the map here. So this. This. This is one of the, my favorite like edges of the map. Like, yep, chain link fans can't go past that. But you don't really think about it. It's not like, oh hey, here's a wall you can't drive past. It's like. That's just a, a line you can't cross, but you don't really, you're not offended by it, right? There's stuff going on on the other side, like the road that's on the other side, like there's visual stuff. You don't even notice that there's no left turns. I think that's super cool. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh. Barreling down these roads. Car. Not a crash. Just got in my way. Yeah, you just. You, I mean, I don't know. Like, No Man's Land is, is is okay, but there's this like kind of like rolled hip border around the entire map, and if you get close to it, like you don't see it, but it starts to mess with your camera and whatnot, and it's just like. A little bit annoying, or like other maps where it just like drops off into nothing. This one is like very well blended with the rest of the map. It just makes it. Where am I going? I totally took a wrong turn here somewhere. I'm trying to go to the store, and I'm not going to the store at all. Too busy talking, not enough driving in the correct direction. Where's the store? 20... <laughs> this is a road. Look this road. I don't know where this road goes. Let's see where it goes. Yeah, that's the other thing we want to do today anyways. We want to explore a little bit. No, that road doesn't go where I want it to. 
Can't cut across here. It's a grass field. I'm going to damage it. Beautiful river. I like how the grass fields are not perfectly like groomed grass. There's like little bit little bits of extra here and there. That's nice. Find where I want to be. Yes. Alright. Whoa, that's a hill. This totally feels like like Eastern Mass. I think that's one of the reasons I like this map a lot is because it feels just like I'm from Massachusetts and I was born in Eastern Massachusetts and this whole area feels just like Eastern Massachusetts. Like, just that feeling of it. Only it was there, if there was a few orchards, it would be perfect. I think the only thing that's knocking it off from being like Eastern East Coast is the French cars. <laughs> Those are a little bit out of out of the ordinary. And bailing contracts to do soon. I'm gonna get these harvesting ones done first. Now if I hook a right outside the shop, can I still get to where I'm going? to tell because like the map has a bunch of like roads that aren't on the map like this this road right here is not really on the map it's like hidden that's not the road i want hmm. there goes that sign That's it. Going through the forest. On field 39 now. Shortcut. <laughs> oh, there's actually a. Oh, that kind of dead ends into a tree. Okay, I'm gonna. I do like all the windmills around here. They're pretty cool. So let's get this thing turned on. Uh, what size bales do we want? We're doing. Or is this only one size bales? Right, it is. Well, apparently the Veil Straw at Missions mod is, in fact, in this game. <laughs> or else I wouldn't be bailing right now. I don't know what else to do with this map. Like, we're gonna be doing some contracts today to get some money, and I think that's just the next the next thing to do is the animals. I really wanna get into the animals. I made a couple new mods for just for this map. We're gonna get to try out. Make our lives a little bit easier.
Oh, here's where we ran into the tree. It really is, like, I... Yeah, it's, it's... I don't know. One of the things that I like, especially, and I think this is where the East Coast feel comes from me, is it's not just one kind of tree, right? Like, there's all kinds of trees. Like, they use the full gamut of trees when they were making this map. And for me, that, that to me is enjoyable because it just gives it more color and more flavor, more, I don't know what I'm going to call it. I don't want to say pizzazz, but gives it more texture, it's as if a map can have texture. This out of the road before someone runs me over. Apparently I have Lumberjack installed. I'm surprised this little tractor is able to handle the fast bell. It's only like 150 horsepower, but it's handling the fast bell no problems. I don't remember what the requirements were for the fast bell, but I just kind of went with it. It's... This is the baler I like using. Oh, you know what we haven't checked? It's in the sail. It was in the sale. Nah, I got a wider one. I do want to get a corn hitter, but I want a wider one. That's not useful for this map. We're not doing corn. We're not doing cotton anytime soon or have money for it. This would be good, maybe. Think about it. Probably the right size for this one. That six meter corn header. But there's a whole bunch of cornfields that I'm going to have to process soon. On my land and the surrounding. Hey, Shorzy. <laughs> Thanks for joining, Shorzy. Great to have you on here. This is my first stream, actually, on YouTube. Everything else has been on Twitch. And believe me, YouTube takes a little bit of extra setup. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you can't just click the button and go. You have to, like, write descriptions and titles and make thumbnails and change a bunch of settings for adult content or not adult content or however you're doing it. It's so much more work. But I was uploading the Twitch streams here anyways to keep them here for posterity, so why not just start here? Right? No Raz, don't leave. The turning radius on this tractor is... Leave something to be desired. It's pretty sharp. Or not sharp enough, I guess. Alright. 
<laughs> Stalker. <laughs> yeah, sure, she's stalking you, Raz. a bale trailer too. That's probably one we should buy. We're getting a decent number of bales on this field. What, nine so far for just this field? That's going to get us a little ways at least. Once we get the cows, get them some straw for them. Alright. Harvester, you're in my way. Trailers coming in my way too. Sorry, Harvester. Sneaking into the back corner there. Front tires are on the land. Do 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 do. do. And my little vacuum cleaner. <laughs> what it feels like. Can't steer this thing at all. Sorry, folks. I'm uh, the drunk sailor with these like old other machines. I'm so used to like your know, four wheels crab steering and stuff. Four wheel steering, crab steering. Try to play with older machines, and I'm all all fuddled.
almost there. Now we're going to have to pick stuff up off this field, too. Goodness. I only have one tractor. But there's another tractor at the shop. Use that one. So what are we getting? We're going to get a Roland Auto Loading Bale Trailer, right? Oh, it'll deal with whatever kind of bales we throw at it. What's this other field we have to do? This one is... Canola. I totally forget. Let me know in chat. Canola. Does canola have straw? It doesn't, does it? It's been a while since I've done canola, so I don't know for sure. Does canola do straw? Let me know in chat. If not, I can just take the bike on home and get the... the fast bill back to the back to the farm. With the field trip. Where are we going with this load? Not without a mod. Perfect. That's good. Very good answer. Thank you very much, Raz. Forty-four. The one I'm almost done, I have to take it to the green mill. Alright, next place we're going to be using the bike, this, this fast bale is on our own farm, and we'll do that later in the day. For now, let's just bring it there and drop it off. And collect ourselves an auto-loading bale trailer. Um, how do I get to my house? <laughs> Let's look. Going right's faster. I'm like still learning the map. This is literally like hour number three on this map. First two hours we're doing the map twice, doing the first little bit twice, and now far. It's not time stand. Um, where are we going? Go this way. Field 9 is right here on the left. Can I get to my field from like the backyard of this place? Can I sneak in this little dirt path right here? Oh, I can't do that. Andy dandy. Alright. Did you hear him? This was our first field that we have now <laughs> harvested twice. We need to bale it up and keep the straw to be used for the animals. We're going to drive through the farm just to sneak across the store. Yeah, this is what I mean about like all the kind of crap on the ground. Like all of this little stuff on the ground, I don't. It's not bad. It gives it some color. I don't necessarily want it all there. Like there's. Uh, there's like three bales of hay there. Those are not actual bales of hay. Those are just decoration. <laughs> like, if I'm going to have bales of hay sitting somewhere, I want them to be real. Actually, I don't even know. Those might actually be real. I don't know. I'm good. Here. 
We're starting to learn our way around this map. Garden. That field on the right is the one that Armor Klein just did in his video. I don't know whether he did it as a, as a purchase or a contract. Trailer. Bail loaders, Roland. Um. Big one, do I? Do I want the, the little gooseneck on there or not? Probably not on this map. Wait, these are all 28 bales? Or two of these. Oh, I don't know why there's two of them. That's, that's my own fault. Roll in black. Do roll in black and orange for fun. Auto load, yes. Design. I like those ones. That. We're doing Fent Colors. I'll buy that. There we go. Fent Colors. Roland Auto Load Bale Trailer. And all of that stuff is for my next two jobs. Look at that, this is a Fent dealership too. Didn't know that. Being the paid job already. That doesn't go anywhere, does it? That looks like a road that goes somewhere. Doesn't go over the river. Ooh, that of gear. Whoop. Ah. What does that mean? Grass. I feel like my um, color matching trailer. They only five ninety five. I just you know, if for those of you who know me so far, I I don't have a I'm not very good at leaving well enough alone. It's not perfect, I just kinda can't leave it there. I gotta fix it. Make it perfect. We should be in auto loading territory now. And let's pick up these bales. Auto load. Thank you. I mean, we could load them with a you know, with a loader or something. And then one of those loading trailers is is okay, but Yeah. Once you it's like a once you go auto load you can never go back. <laughs> Just so much easier.
Yeah. Brain broken. I know that feeling, Raz, for sure. Like streamer brain or something. All right. Bring this back to the farm. This is the problem with only having one tractor. You end up doing a lot of back and forth. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> but it's early days. We just started here. I think this map would do good with like a, like a second base. Like a one base up near our regular farm and like a set of equipment up there and then you know like a single tractor and maybe a harvester down here you're not bringing stuff all back and forth too much is that this map would do good. do well for that setup almost missed the turn off Hey Xander, what's going on? Is your keyboard broken? <laughs> Not sure what that was meant to say. Oh, is that what that is, Raz? Raz? Um, yeah. I don't know how to do that. Um, how do I make I'm out. Port unwanted port. Go away, Russian bots. Raz, since you're hanging out, if you don't mind, um, I've made you a moderator. You can, um, you can delete that stuff when it comes in. I think I made you moderator. If I didn't, let me know. New YouTube thing is new to me, so. There's the biogas plant. We'll need that later. Well, I mean, I guess that I should feel proud that I was, that a Russian bot felt the need to come into my stream, being that, you know, I'm here with, you know, zero subscribers and, you know, zero likes and whatnot. For those of you who are here, feel, please, please, please subscribe, like the video. I don't know what that does, but... I know that I need to get to a certain level to be able to get monetized or something. Words and stuff. I don't know. And I and I want to apologize ahead of time. I do not have stream labs alerts set up for people if you subscribe or anything like that. I don't have that set up yet, so I'm gonna to have to do that. But that is not for now, that's for another time, I think. Mass. Oh. That's like my grain mill. Animal dealer. Okay. Where's the grain mill? Uh grain mill. Is this the green mill on the other side of the, the the map? Thank you. Yep, I guess I'm driving to the other side of the map. All right, time to go for a drive. <laughs> Korean, Korean cam girls, <laughs> that's good. 
<laughs> That's when I'll know. All right, well, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that, I guess. <laughs> You know, in all honesty, the, yes, I'm driving from one end of the map to the other end of the map, but because this map is a 1x, it's not that big. And I like the roads. They're like, they're not perfectly straight. They're not boring. They're kind of doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop, back and forth, right? It's like, it just feels relaxing. Very chill. Except for that yellow car. Damn yellow car. Isn't that feel this feel right here? No, it's, it's not that feel. It's another feel else. There's two cow pastures you can buy, I think, on this map, and one of them is like at your own farm, and the other one is like out in the middle of nowhere. I think I want to get the one out in the middle of nowhere at some point, and I want to do not. I want to do cows or beef, not cows, for milk. Just to try it out. Never done it before. I think this is the farm right here. Somebody plowed it. This is it right here. This is the one for cows, but why doesn't it have grass on it? That's weird. That, that's, that's the field. Why doesn't it have grass? Am I going to have to plant grass there? That's weird. Uh, do not enter. Enter. I'm entering. All right, Raz. Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for being here. This is, means a lot. Good luck with your render. I know that most like the little, littlest thing ever. I made four grand harvest income. That's cool. That's a good progress. And then that should be completed, right? I did. Are you kidding me? I went to the wrong place. I went to the wrong place. I will. Thanks, Raz. If I wasn't going to the wrong place and dropping off stuff at the wrong place, I would be in a much better, much more fun. Damn it. First contract and I messed it up. Oh well. Uh, this one, um, cancel. Yep, lost all payment. Sorry. That sucks. <laughs> okay, so the grain mill and GHCB grain elevator are two different things. I don't think I can go that way. Good to know. Let's get that other sorghum canola field harvested. Over here somewhere. With 50, I believe. And then on our own farm, we have some corn.
Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oops. That would be a crash. If I had a crash counter, I would count it. But I don't. Alright, where are we going? Go to field 50. Oh look, I just harvested that field and now it's back again. <laughs> it like grew back. <laughs> okay, game. I wonder if it'll come up again in another contract in five minutes. Harvest it again. That would be funny. Okay, 48. This is going to be grass. We're going to do grass in a little bit. Oh. Oh, I can't hurt grass. That's right. Oh, 50 is the next one. Ooh, that's a curve. grass. I'm just going to go right across. Oh, this is the grain mill. The grain mill in the... In the um, <sighs> well, now I know. Trailer gonna destroy crops. All right, let's go do this other contract for like a thousand dollars. I think this has the harvesting prices set a little bit not right. The amount of work and travel that for a harvesting contract for a thousand dollars. Like almost not worth it. That's a pretty big field for like a thousand dollars. Right, let's do that. One clip. Talk about turning radius. Those tracks make the turning radius worse, I think. Over so much more stable. All right, another field with some really tight corners this corner right here. How am I supposed to get in there? I don't even know. cab around the border of this field. Make sure we don't clip any trees. Hopefully there's no straw, so that should move faster.
That's crazy. There's two fields that are right next to each other, but it looks like there'd be like a significant elevation change between the two fields. Even if you wanted to bring them together, you wouldn't be able to. Come on, Harvester, go around the tree. Like, every field has, like, at least one tree that's just too close. Or at least every field I've been on so far. fields in this map are even like north south. They're all like Daddy Wampus. Alright. Just take a couple more minutes. We're getting there, we're getting there. You know what I just realized? I can't so that's what's the setting so I want live chat. Not top chat. And then... Do I see who's in the stream? Sorry, mister. Getting in your way. How it is. Alright, let's get a handle on this YouTube thing while we're here. Top chat. Got docs. Is there any more stats? Output, streams, prompts, disk memory usage, bitrate. No. Here, yeah, oh, seven concurrent, two concurrent viewers. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Raz, for being here. If anyone else is here, call it out in chat. Let me know you're here. Uh, I'd love to see anyone or talk to anyone who's here. This is my first YouTube stream, but not my first stream. I'd love to see what people are thinking. I may have set up YouTube wrong, but at least we're, we're live. At least we're streaming. whips around, huh? Can I do that with a I guess? I bet. Oh, I can. I 
I can do GPS, it's just to find the right heading for this field. Thanks, mister. Hope your windows were open, because I just sprayed you with a bunch of chaff, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> I am liking the uh, modifications I made to the this tractor. I think that these these uh, what should we call it? these tracks actually look better on this harvester than they do on the T9 tracks tractor. T9 tracks tractor, I feel like they're too small. But on on this, they actually look pretty all right. We're actually going to be doing some. Um, modding tutorials, or I'm going to be doing some modding tutorials on really simple, like, getting into modding for FS22, because that's what I've been doing lately. It's super fun, I'm having a lot of fun doing the simple things, like, you know, having a black New Holland Holler Harvester. Well, how did I do that? And if you wanted to have, you know, some other base game harvester, but have it be your color, or color selectable. This one is color selectable. Not just always black. But you do that. Little stuff like that. And it, it really isn't that hard. Uh, FS22, for those who don't know, is um, is based off of XML files. And most of the mods are either XML or something called Lua, which is a very simple scripting language. And most of the changes, even creating maps and doing stuff with the maps, is all just XML. Um, which makes it very easy to edit and modify. We're 58%, we're almost full, and we're almost done with this field. Now this field... I failed 44... Harvesting 2,745, field 50 to the grain elevator. So this is the one that has to go across the map. big long trip we took across the map we should have taken with this load not with the other load and I'm gonna miss out on that harvesting contract but no big deal because there's only not that much money these grass contracts are gonna be where the money is um, those we've modified the rates of so that they actually are worthwhile for the amount of work you do. harvesting ones we haven't adjusted The goal, from my perspective, of course, is to have, oops, is to have all of the contracts basically pay the same for the amount of work you put in. So if it takes you an hour to finish a contract, any contract should pay you the same amount for that hour of work. So that you're not just sit, sitting here doing like the one or two contracts that pay the most and ignoring the rest. Now, from a single-player perspective, that means that you it doesn't matter what the contract is. If you need to make some money, you just go do some contracts, and you always get paid the same amount. To me, that sounds like a better situation, I guess, than always getting paid different amounts for the contract. That just seems annoying.
There's our canola, and now we gotta go for a big long drive. On these little crazy windy one way roads. Let's go in cab. Here. Up oh, car. <laughs> That's really cool. If you look at the buttons on the console on the right here, there's like the little green buttons. They're those old school kind of like. I don't know, plasticky, clicky buttons, where it's like a, a button that's underneath a layer of soft plastic. They're not like um, keyboard buttons, which I mean, in a tractor, it might make sense. We didn't make that corner. I think next month is going to be the corn harvesting season, at which point we'll buy a corn header and we'll do as many of the corn harvesting contracts on the map as we can. Um, hopefully making some money off. this uh, very strange I thought this field is supposed to have grass in it animal pen field but it doesn't so highly suspect This is the, make sure, GHCB grain elevator, and is that where I am? Yep, okay. Yield finished, plus this trailer back to the farm go from there and do we want to stay on this road I've never been on this side of the map yet whoops we haven't been on this side of the map yet oh you can't get to the other side of the stream oh that's interesting see now the stream is the border and like you don't feel bad about not being able to make it to the other side that uh, seat just looks really good. What's this? It looks like a bakery or something. Probably. Oh, look, we're above our fields. Uh, not sure why that truck hit me. alley here somewhere, right? Oh, this alley. Ooh, I remember where one of the other collectibles is. Is it the GH, GHGB, GHCB? No, the biogas plant right behind me. Oh, look, there's a grass field. But I don't own. I shall own it soon enough. Must own all the things. All right. So we're back at the farm. Let's drop off this trailer.
Let's go to the store and pick up one of the 17,000 implements we're going to need for doing grass work. And bring it over to the two grass fields. Luckily, the two grass fields we're going to do are right next to each other, so that shouldn't be a problem. Wait, did we accept it? Finish our contract? Yes, we did. Completed. Collect. Collect. All right, so these two, as you can see, tether, both of them are drying with a tether and bailed, taken to the animal dealer. So we're going to need a mower, a tether, a windrower, a baler, and a loading wagon. All of that stuff all needs to be brought from the shop. Be right back. And we're back. Look at this fancy equipment they gave us. I don't think I've ever used this merger. Like, I know that it's a merger. I know how you're supposed to use it. I don't think I've ever used it. At least hitting that sign doesn't knock it over. <laughs> I keep hitting those signs. We almost went into the river. Huh. Alright, we're supposed to do 42, which is just above 39, so we can use our little shortcut through the woods. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this field first. that let's get our harvester and bring it home that's click in it looked like it clicked in I hope it did. I just noticed I was looking over on this, the YouTube screen and it says, and I don't, what am I, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, what I'm doing wrong, but it says the stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended bit rate. But the bit rate is at 20, 2600 kilobytes per second, which means it's at 2 megabit per second. And they want me to go faster than that? Recommend a stream bitrate of 4,500. Now, is that my upload speed, or is that the something in the streaming song? Or is that just like a status? I don't know. You know, let me know. 
because I would like to make it as good as possible, but it's YouTube, so I don't know. Oh, Mike, you're looking forward to those um, modding videos? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to try to make it... So, I like... I learned from example, right? That's my personality. I learn from either an example that someone else gives me or ripping apart someone else's code and figuring out what they did, how they did it, and then you just trying stuff out, right? Very much just a learning from example and trying things out. But I noticed that a lot of the people on the other streamers who are modders on YouTube they are either doing one of two things. They're either showing off what they've built and this is amazing, this is awesome, and this is all the stuff I did, and this is all the stuff I can do. They never tell you how they did it. Or you get people who try to have, like, tutorials, but something about the tutorial is just not right. Like, they're not prepared for the tutorial. Like, they're not prepared for the content they're trying to, sh to show off. Like, they're not ready, or they're trying to do it live and make lots of mistakes. Not that I won't do that, I'm just saying. It makes it a little challenging to watch. And so, and not only that, like, they have a 30-minute video or two to, two to three minutes of content. So... I kind of want, like, short little snippets of content. But give me the content that... Truck. <laughs> but give me the content I'm looking for in a short little snippet. Like, okay, the first thing I want to do is... How do I make my own mod? Like, really? That's a super simple question, right? How? Well, you just create a folder and then you create your uh, uh, default XML file, and then you set the settings in your default XML file, and you go from there. That's a simple, simple thing, but, you know, I don't need a 45-minute explanation of how the Giants editor works if I'm never going to open the Giants editor. Right? Like, that's not... I, don't know. I think I'm missing, like... If you go into like a programming tutorial, like, oh, I want to learn JavaScript, you get people who are all prepared and they have all of their code set up and ready to go and they give you examples and snippets and whole nine yards, right? And that's what I want. I want the, I'm prepared to be doing a stream and I'm ready to do it. Here's the stream, the whole stream, and here's all the information that you need. Right? That's what I want to see. Um, just because I think it's better content. So, I've never done that before uh, in a YouTube video. I have done it, like I have taught multiple engineers over the course of my career how to do things in engineering and, you know, learning a new language or learning a new coding skill or learning a new feature of a, of a language, like, that's something that I do for a living, so I want to kind of apply it to this game, maybe make a little bit of content. I don't know if it'll do any good, but if I'm lucky and I do it right, maybe it'll be better than some of the stuff that's out there. Who knows, right? It's worth a shot. Now this this this, oops oops. This and the other job both gave us that four stack bail trailer, which is not really a bail trailer at all. So we're gonna go get our bail trailer and use that. Um. So much work. 
All right, let's look at the bale trailer. Then the mower. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do. Let's hire somebody. Let's turn the mower on. Let's see if hired workers work on this map. We haven't tested that yet. Let's go here. Go here. Right. Start point of a trip. Go here. Contracts. Set destination. We want you, Mr. Mower, go here. Go. Target is unreachable. Why am I not surprised? Try again. Um, here, let's get you out in the street. Maybe it's because you're not in the street. You're in the street. Now you know how to drive on a street, right? That destination. Um, but here. Blocked by an object. Well, let's see if they get there. <laughs> I think that's one of the things about, like, always with a new map like this, is it doesn't have... I don't know what it takes on a map to set up, you know, the AI routes and stuff like that. Like, is that hard? Is that easy? I really don't know. It could be terribly... inconceivably hard. I wouldn't... See, there's a field of corn. There's no road next... Yeah, there is. There is a road. Sort of. Yeah, this map, like the tight confines in between fields and stuff, is a little tricky. A little tricky. Uh, oh my god. I don't want to destroy these fields because I own them. I'm going to be buying that, this one on the right. Bale trailer and bring this bale trailer back to our other job. And we're gonna dump off these bales somewhere on the farm. We don't know where this stuff is gonna go yet because we haven't really worked that out. So for now, I'm gonna dump them right here. Because I don't have a silo yet. So let's go try. There, try. Good. All right. Wonder if we'll ever get to mowing. Wait, little driveway. What does it do? Goes around. Cruising. I like this Fent. This Fent is a 930 Vario. I think I've used the, the 930 Black Beauty in another... on another playthrough. Uh, it is one of my favorite tractors. This one's pretty good too. 
a super fan of the Fent Green. I like the black and red. Not really the green and red, but... This'll do. This'll do for now. Alright. Go up here. Our little shortcut. All of our equipment sitting here waiting for us. Look at that. Handy. Okay. That there. First thing we're going to need is the tether. You can't run a tether on the front, can you? I don't think you can. Okay. So we're ready for that. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, where's the mower? <sighs> they got really far. <sighs> Gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't think the workers are gonna work for me on this map. Like I got more than like four feet. And granted, this is a pretty big mower to be driving around these roads, but still. Oh, you know what the worst part was? I hired them more and I don't know how to turn those lights off. Nope. We turn the lights off. Shortcut. Here we are. Finally, ready to start mowing. That only took forever. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of help at all. No, no, I don't. I don't agree. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried using a controller and I got like miffed by it. I think when I got the game, I went out and got a controller for Christmas. And I was all excited to have the controller, and then I tried using it for like a couple weeks, for like a week, and then like controller itself, like was broken, like it just didn't. Oh, wait, I'm doing heading, and it was it, it just didn't work, and because of that, I got like really turned off from like using the controller and I was I just like eventually I was like you know what I'm just gonna keep using the keyboard and mouse because that's what I know how to use and go from there where is the field map is you know, I like it, it's pretty, but I 
really need to just come around here with a chainsaw and cut down all of the trees that are around the fields. Look at this, I can't even mow a field without running into every other tree. And maybe it's just like the OCD in me wanting to get all the way to the field's edge and collect as much of the content or, you know, collect as much of the grass as I can. But the map author is not making that easy. <laughs> right? Just not easy. All of these, like, I don't know what kind of trees these are. Birch, oak. No, oak trees. They're right at the field's edge. Like, you can't... Can I just... Can I just... Get rid of them? I don't have a chainsaw. What's my playthrough? What am I doing? I'm gonna buy a chainsaw, see if I can fix this stuff. Yes. Okay. already much better. I'm not collecting the wood from it. I'm just making it easier to do my job. There we go. This is the field. I can't believe this is actually mowing this, this, like, crazy hill. Yeah, I think now that I have the chainsaw, I'm gonna start trimming the trees around the fields when I'm, when I'm on them, just cause, see this one's gonna be a pain in the ass. Don't get me wrong. I like the trees, but I can get a little excessive. And just think, every tree I get rid of, it'll make it perform better. Doing it for performance. This is a really pretty field, too. Like, right up against the river. Look at that willow tree. Nice tree. That one's going away. That one's going away. That one's going away.
be much better. We have made this map a better place, and we shall continue to do so. As necessary. Look at us. So none of that area is cuttable, I guess. So I was watching a video on like the the sales video for this mower, like online for Chrome, and it turns out. Oh, It turns out that this mower um, you can lift up one side. Like, you can mow around a tree by lifting up one side of the mower. I thought that was pretty cool. Cool feature. Ugh. Now that that one debacle of getting around this, this field once is done, it should be pretty easy. It's almost zero. Bet. No. Set. Zero. Find guidance on. Oh. Oops. He's kind of in the way. What is this one? What is this one? Just thinning it out a little. Make it more presentable. Or something. <laughs> the home key. Home. Do I have a home key on my keyboard? <gasps> oh my gosh, Mike. You're the greatest. That's... Oh, you just made my day. Every time I use a helper, they leave those beacons on. And I never knew how to turn them off. Totally made my day, dude. Thank you. so perfect. Finally got rid of those beacons.
go. <clears throat> We're actually getting towards the end of my allotted time for streaming. Got some family stuff to attend to. But you know what we'll do? We'll finish mowing this field, and then we'll do all the rest of it next time. But I am liking this map, even more so now that I have a chainsaw. <laughs> Just to repair something. All the trees are getting in my vision, <laughs> drive me crazy. It like almost hurts my sensibilities to be mowing with the with this without the swath dropping. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I so much time mowing with a similar mower with swath dropping on. Right now, doing it without the swath is just like, what am I doing? Thank you, Mike, for the assist of the beacons. Much appreciated. Now we can finish mowing with some sanity. <laughs> you know, I, I... Grass isn't that bad. I don't mind it too much. I, uh, I obviously do a lot of it on the multiplayer server just because it's the easiest to do to make good money. Um, and I didn't like it for contracts until I modified the contracts to make it worthwhile. Once it's worthwhile, I think it's... I don't mind doing the extra work. Like, right now with the settings the way they are, like the these contracts are the mowing contracts, grass care stuff are some of the most profitable contracts. That said, they take the most time and the most energy to do um, because there's like four or five steps. You have to mow it, then you have to ted it, and then you have to bale it, and then you have to load all the bales, and then you have to transport the bales. 
Like, there's a lot of steps involved. Um, and I think the base game turns people off of it because the base game, the rates for doing that work are abysmal compared to the amount of work it takes. Um, and that's my big thing that I've been working on lately. And I know, Jolly, you've been actually helping with this is, you know, starting to record contracts and, and figure out how long it takes to do a, a particular contract so that we can determine what the number is per acre for the amount of time it should take to do a contract on average. And then you're getting paid hourly regardless of what you're doing. And so, you know, you get paid an hour, essentially an hourly wage for doing contracts and you can do any kind of contract and still get paid the same. Um, and I think that, and I'm gonna release a mod that does that. And I think that with that, I think people can look at contracts as a way to make money, not just as, okay, how many fertilizer contracts can I do before I get back to what I'm doing? It's because they're so out of out of whack as far as how much they pay, right? Yeah, it is a lot of work. And but it's not hard work, it's just repetitive. Um but at least it's repetitive work that isn't like super slow. Um like data harvesting or something. <laughs> right? Um at least it, it moves along. You're using one machine, you finish up, you move to the next machine, you do that. And the, the machines move relatively fast. Like I'm mowing it 25, 30 kilometers an hour in a base game machine, no modifications. Whereas harvesting with base game machines, you're going at six kilometers an hour. Yeah, so We'll talk about that with the, some of the mod, the mod things that I, the, the videos that I want to do. Um, that's definitely one of them. Let's, let's fold this up. Move right here. Guess we'll go to the next field with this machine. And let's go here with the tether. And. Exactly, like I want to be able to get paid the same regardless of what work I'm doing. If I spend an hour real life doing something, I want to get paid for an hour's worth of work. And for, for some contracts, it's not the same. An hour's worth of work for one contract is not the same as an hour's worth of work for another contract. And you could spend 20 minutes doing um, like fertilizing contracts and get paid you know X amount of dollars and then spend the next 20 minutes or next two hours doing a harvesting contract and get paid the same that you spent you got during the 20 minutes of doing fertilizing contracts right and just for that the it's obvious that the the rates are not where they should be. And so I hope to fix that. The more data I can get, the better. I'm not recording data on this server just because this server already has like my first pass at balancing. Right? I already have a script running on this on this playthrough that is trying to balance out the contracts. Um, so the data would be skewed if we use the data from the from this playthrough. That said, I know it works because I'm currently doing a bailing contract that in this field that I'm getting paid 100k for. But I do know that I can modify those numbers and make them more realistic. Oh, look at that. This, like, the... This header 
Look how it wraps around the hill. I come on the top of this hill and it's kind of wrapping around the hill a little bit. It's flexing to go with the hill. That's cool. It's very cool. Yeah, thank you, Jolly. That's super helpful. The sooner we can get data, especially on contracts, and maybe, maybe just do it with some contracts you normally wouldn't do, like, you know, do a plowing contract or do a, do a harvesting contract that maybe you wouldn't normally take on just because you don't like that contract. But in all honesty, we need at least a few data points for every type of contract before we can start changing the numbers or figuring out what those rates are. I think we're gonna have to windrow and bail all this stuff. Why does this thing nine? So I think the, the warning message coming from YouTube that I'm getting is actually based on the bitrate of the encoding, not my streaming network. I'm going to have to figure that out. But we'll do that for next time. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, I'm going to finish up tedding this this field. It's kind of running a little bit slow for my taste. And um, we'll catch back up next time and we'll do some windrowing and, and bailing and getting on to the next contract, which is again to be more the same. 
um, we might turn on the speed mod. Let's actually check the speed mod and see if that can speed things up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Let's just do that. Screaming us driving around at 15 kilometers an hour is not really... Let's just finish up this field, then we'll call. A little bit more fun when it's faster. All right, well, thank you very much for hanging out, Jolly. Uh, and we will catch you later. We'll catch everyone later. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with the stream. I will be streaming again uh, at a minimum next week on Tuesday night at the same time. I'm hoping to stream again sometime later this week, maybe Thursday night as well. Uh, until next time, I will catch everyone later. Thank you very much for hanging out, and don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button so you can know when I'm streaming next. I will catch everyone later. Bye-bye.